digital tools are increasingly used to favor school success, both in the classroom and in online learning from home. For parents, it may sometimes be difficult to know where to start. Here is an overview of two types of digital tools used in the classroom or at home. For online learning from home, video conferencing tools are used as a means of communication. Video conferences, virtual classes, or online classes are common terms used to talk about video conferencing. These tools allow students in the same class to be together at the same time remotely. This creates a sense of belonging that enables children to feel a part of the classroom rhythm. Video conferencing offers several possibilities. Here are a few. With a camera and a microphone, it's possible to speak to each other and see each other. The students also have access to instant messaging. They can ask questions during the course or communicate directly with the teachers as needed. The teacher can share a screen. Students therefore have access to the content of shared documents. They can also watch videos to support their learning. Students can download the documents before or after class. If the teacher makes it available, students can also have access to a recording of the class afterwards. Students can click on a raised hand icon to ask to speak. They can also click on the thumbs up icon to show their agreement and thus use secondary methods of communication. In a virtual classroom, it's also possible to form a subgroup or a small group of students for certain activities. This option makes teamwork easier and allows the teacher to visit each team while they are working. Certain apps allow documents to be deposited, such as students' written assignments. This allows the teacher to comment on the work directly, correct it, evaluate it, and then send it back to the students, who can then recover it easily. Some virtual spaces allow storage of large quantities of data and large files. This allows the teacher to make certain files available to the students, such as presentations, videos, or recordings of the class after it's over. Obviously, other tools can be used, such as websites offering interactive exercises or software to produce documents. Do you have any questions or do you need help concerning the digital tools your child uses to learn? Ask your child's teacher. Also, several explanatory guides have been produced for parents and are available on the internet. Feel free to consult them.